Good morning, we're high school. I'm Addie McCoola. And I'm Angela Paul. Here are your announcements for Tuesday, October 18th, brought to you by Weir Student Media. The forecast calls for cloudy skies with rain or wet snow possible, a high of 44 and a low of 36. For lunch, we are having corn dog, broccoli, sliced pears, and chocolate pudding. This week, we're celebrating Disability History Week. All week, we'll be recognizing important moments, people, and experiences throughout disability history. Today, we'll share a few interviews with teachers discussing what we should know about disabilities. Because there are so many students who have different abilities, and I think the need for acceptance is huge, not just at our school, but everywhere. I feel that it's important to celebrate Disability History Week because it shows the evolution from where we were to where we are now. So it, it, it's important because we can show our community how at one point in time people were ostracized and pushed out of the community, whereas now we try to include everyone no matter what their disability may be. I think it's important because it educates people on disabilities and the history of disabilities and, and how far um, advancements have come not only in the treat the treatments of the disability but the treatment of the people with disabilities. I wish they knew that it wasn't just a one-size-fits-all. So even in my classroom today we were talking about two different students with autism. Somebody who's nonverbal versus somebody who's high functioning. Same disability, different abilities. So visible is something you can see. So maybe something, again, what we were talking about today was someone who has a craniofacial disability, so their face was misshapen. Something invisible is still as important and could affect them just as much. Is there I think when George Bush signed for the Americans with Disabilities Act, prior to then, everyone was segregated, and then that was the moment that everyone came together. As a young mom um, who was already in school studying to be an educator, um, I think it took me a little bit by surprise, but there were signs that I had noticed. Um, so I kind of decided that I was going to allow her to be who she needed to be in life in order to be the most successful. And so I tried to take how I felt in like my emotional state out of it so that she could excel in life and do well. It actually didn't. So I was already in college um, getting a teaching degree when my daughter was diagnosed. Um, I always kind of knew that I wanted to work with kids. Um, it did help in knowing that um, my experience would definitely work out better with children with disabilities. And I always loved kids who needed a little extra help. Um, but I always actually did want to be a teacher and an educator and I always wanted to work with children. Absolutely it did. My original degree was history and I was um, an educated history teacher but there weren't any jobs when, um, when I was younger. Teaching jobs were very hard to get and um, I went back to school for special ed teacher because I didn't know what to do with a child with autism. Thank you for that background information. Stay tuned throughout this week to learn more about disability history. In other news, there'll be several meetings this week, so listen up and make sure you don't miss one. Today, there will be a meeting of all National Technical Honor Society members immediately after school in Ms. Dotson's room, A306. Important information to close out the year will be discussed. Tomorrow, there'll be a meeting for all FBLA members immediately after school in A306, where important information about competition will be distributed and there will be also a class of 2025 officers meeting immediately after school in Mrs. Paul Office's room. We also have a few reminders for you. GAA will be selling cancer ribbons all week during lunches for a dollar donation and more generous donations in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Teachers, advisors, and coaches, if you would like to sponsor a Salvation Army Christmas Angel child or two for your group or yourself, please let her know immediately and any student who would like to compete in the WV Academic Challenge, a quiz bowl buzzer type competition should contact Ms. Smith Montgomery in A201 by October 24th. Finally, we have your sports info. 
Boys basketball is holding flex days today and tomorrow from 5 to 6.30 p.m. Good luck to the volleyball team as they travel to Wheeling Park for a 5.30 start time. That's it for today. Have, Have a, a terrific, terrific Tuesday, Weir. <laughs>